if you find the content relevant then do like share and subscribe to the channel also hit the bell button to get a regular notification also do share your experiences and any suggestions that you have in the comment box hope you enjoyed So we are discussing basically CAT preparation plan with three weeks to CAT. So what are we talking about? So I would recommend that this week you would write two mocks, serious mocks. So, so on Sundays and Thursday maybe two experimental mocks, Tuesdays and Fridays, and two non-time mocks. So I mentioned I put a video where I tell you what is non-time mocks. Non-time mocks is where you write a mock without a time limit, just for practice. It helps. Now coming to each of them, two serious mocks is where you try to write seriously the whole mock. Experimental mock, I would recommend you to write the strategy what you want to experiment. So technically, experiment in each section. Okay, write down the strategy that you would require to experiment in each section, and after each exam, see if it works or not works. Maybe these are the last experimental mocks you will write because two weeks to get fourteen days. Maybe you will not experiment much. So these are the last two experimental mocks. So these are the mocks where you can experiment and find out what works, what doesn't work. So write down the strategy before you actually write down the paper, and after the mock, analyze whether it has worked or not worked, or what has worked or not worked. Okay. Two non-time mock, as I said, is take up two non-time mocks and practice without time limit. Okay, that helps because it when you write questions without time limit, it helps you to understand and search for new methods. Apart from that, do the daily routine is required. Working on calculations, reading every day is the most important part. You know, solving of your puzzles. All this is very important. Do your daily routine apart from this. I would also recommend that you take one day break this week, just to put you off from cat and just relax. One day break. Maximum what you can do on the days of break is maybe read a little bit. But apart from that, try to take a complete break. Okay, mocks. See is experimental. When you do it, write the mocks for two hours. Analyze the mocks for three hours. Reading point five to two hours definitely. Puzzle zero to fifteen minutes. Calculations, maxims. Okay. When you analyze a mock, especially an experimental mock, also look at your strategy. What has worked? What has not worked? Remember, strategy is a very important part to improve your scores. Work on your strategy. Experiment on your strategy. So maybe two rounds, three rounds. Maybe going to the questions first before you go to the uh, uh, passage. Try different things. Maybe you change the selection criteria. Maybe you change how you select the questions. All that is very important part of your preparation. Try it out. Right. And apart from that, you can do. If you can do extra practice for maths and DLR, if you have time, that means you can do it. If you're working, obviously you may not have time. But if you're not working, maybe you can spend an extra hours just to do some practice of maths and DLR apart from the mocks that you saw. Non-time mocks, I would say, don't solve all the T sections. Is practicing your strong areas doesn't make sense as such, uh, unless you're aiming for uh, colleges which does not have sectional cutoffs. So focus on two sections. And what are you aiming for? If you're aiming for colleges, top colleges which have sectional cutoff, focus on two sections at a week. If you're only aiming for colleges which have no sectional cutoff, like I mean, my exam, then you can focus on strong areas. That's upon you. So try to spend around one point five to two hours. Normal time is forty minutes, so maybe three times the time will give you two hours. So because you have to solve each and every question which is there. I mean, the time may vary from person to person, but around one point five to two hours per section is what you need to solve. Okay. Apart from doing this, whatever you're practicing, I mean, here basically you're trying to solve each question without time limit. Try to keep an overall time, saying that I'll finish each question of mathematics in five six minutes. I mean, reading, looking at the solution, trying to find better methods, etc. So on and so forth. Same with DLR. Try to keep a time limit overall. Others, what happens is if you focus on one question for long hours, that may not help. So read for point five two hours. To our puzzles, calculations, concept learning. This is one more thing that I would recommend you to do. So, if there were some concepts that you, during your mocks or during other time, you found that you need to go to a concept. So, I have gone to a say time for distance and the circular arrangement sum, which I feel I need to go back to the concepts. Maybe you can spend around one hour on that concept learning. Okay, something which you feel is important that you need to go back to books and study. Do that. There is no harm in doing that. Your focus most of your time should be on non-time mocks. But apart from that, yes, concept learning could be done. Also, 
very important is learn to relax. So one day, learn to relax. With Diwali coming up, take the day's break. So if you look at it, I've not mentioned anything on Saturday, take one day's complete break. That will help you to relax as far as possible. I mean, it will actually be good for your cat preparation also. Okay, keep your mind fresh. Learn to relax on that day. Don't think of cat, don't think of anything else. Learn to relax, do what you like. One thing that you can get involved is decorating your house. It is a good break from your you know, daily schedule. Create happy memories. Do something that you like. Okay. Something that you want to do, you'd want to like to do. Do that. I mean, some school friends of yours, you want to connect on a call, do connect. Or something in that aspect. Try doing something which will not put pressure on you. You would want to completely take a break of cat. And that should help you rejuvenate your mind for your next level. Right? Hope this helps. Thank you.